Teen Hornet. The IV here is barely visible. The RWR transparent. Now IV and RWR fixed. A10C. RWR here not visible and clock and CMSC, NMSP, all kinds of viewports transparent. Now RWR is black, readable, clock fixed, all viewports are fixed. F15E, viewports not a problem, MPDs or MFDs are a problem not visible, all transparent. Now, all of them are fixed, the three of them. Apache, these are all viewports that I placed here and they are all transparent. Now, all of them have black background. So the solution that we're gonna look at should be a fix for all DCS aircrafts. Let's take a look. Okay, that was the bit test for the RWR which is right now only showing a small end over here and the IFI both are barely visible with the background being transparent constantly moving about as you move the head basically the whole cockpit here right is repeated inside so um, many aircrafts in DCS have this problem the viewports are transparent in the background some instruments maybe because they are bezels so it covers up but uh, those that don't um, basically will not be readable and doing MR um, will become a pain looking at them so a solution is uh, needed Now we see the IFI over here, um, more readable, and the all WR over here, and I also added um, the ODU setting something, and the UFC and the scratch pad, they don't appear even with the black background so that is a different problem we are looking at solutions for uh, VR transparencies so anything that is a viewport that is transparent in VR now um, we have a solution to make them readable by having a black background okay so this one I'm not sure whether they are working uh, Helios have made them work or it's a bug or something so that's um, a discussion for another day but for now um, the two famous VR transparency problem for the Hornet IV and RWR is fixed yeah okay this is from my first MR test for the A10C as you can see, um, many things are transparent. Some of these instrument gauges and luckily the MFDs um, are visible. But the RWR is here. The digital clock is here. The UHF repeater is here. CMSC, NMSP. Basically all viewports except for the MFDs, all viewports are transparent. So um, if you are replacing this CMSC, NMSP with LEDs, LCDs, that's fine, right? But the RWR, um, 
you can't. It has to be a viewport only. Then this digital clock you can replace with um, just a character display. You know, uh, same as the UHF repeater, you can use OLED. But certain things like especially LWR in all aircrafts are purely viewport. You cannot be exported via OLED, LCD, DCS BIOS, that kind of stuff. So it really um, becomes challenging to a lot of people doing MR um, that you cannot read the RWR. RWR now has a black background. It's readable. So you can even adjust the brightness in MR. Um, digital clock now has a black background. Um, this one I built my own LCD, so um, that's not a problem. And I'll be doing LEDs for NMSP. But uh, basically when you have a black background for viewports, um, all viewports get fixed. Right, which is cool. It's uh, one solution for all for all viewports for all aircrafts, basically. Okay, this is <clears throat> this was recorded long ago um, when Quest couldn't really record um, contrast well. So here we basically see the F fifteen um, having transparency issue as well and this is too bright okay the problem with the f-15 it's unique it's opposite of most aircraft most aircrafts have viewports being transparent and their mfds are fine the f-15 has all instruments all fine but the mfds MPDs, um, they are called MPDs in F-15, like these three here, left, right, center, they are transparent. Everything else is fine. So it's the only one that is reversed, okay? Uh, but it's still a problem because um, these are very important and we look at them all the time. So with this being transparent, it almost makes the aircraft um, not usable, the cockpit, um, unless you want to... I had to basically fly in VR and then lean forward, you know, um, to just see the buttons and touch them and operate them and then lean back in order to see the screen. So that was pretty frustrating. So um, we'll look at the solution next. So finally have the MPDs working uh, thank goodness after many months and many tries I will show you what I tried um, later but here you can see that I can operate the MPDs in um, in MR so I can see the VR environment I can see my gauges including the very important MPDs. Uh, I'm super relieved to solve this um, issue. Uh, in Helios, the Apache is not separated into aircraft and viewports category. They're all merged into one. So skipping the MFDs, um, most of those that are like a viewport even some of the mfds are like a viewport only it appears that those some of them have like a panel a bezel around them and some of them are pure uh, viewports only so let's take a look at the um, how they look like in vr so everything is transparent whether in the panel or not right so totally useless unreadable at all things that were transparent are now readable with the uh, dark background so 
there are things that are still not displaying uh, some viewports are not displaying but um, just like the f18 viewports that are not displaying are a different problem we are focusing on things that are displaying but were transparent in VR now we fix the transparency uh, background and we we mask it we block it with um, something black and then the text um, map whatever become readable so that um, will help a lot of people so before we look at the um, actual solution I just want to share with you the path I went through to search for a workable solution it took six tries right this problem was discovered more than half a year ago when I realized that the F15E Strike Eagle that I was building um, I tried in advance before and before finish building everything I tried the VR part and to my horror realized that most aircraft um, MFDs work in VR right um, the Hornet the Apache um, A10 but just not the F-15 the one that I was building so that was annoying so first thing I tried obviously the MFD being a viewport um, I tried the background okay use background and change its color to black change the uh, opacity um, nothing it didn't do squat all right so first try failed second try um, on ED forum I saw somebody complaining that hey it was transparent and the DDI for the Hornet became black um, that guy was looking for a solution um, to turn it transparent mine is the other way around so the fix suggested fix was something about under bake um, MPD common bake page lure the kind of stuff so basically changing the color from black to transparent so my solution is the opposite or rather the solution I want is the opposite but I couldn't even find this in F-15 right if you choose aircraft F-15E the path it doesn't have um, this big folder uh, whatever so I tried a couple of other lure files that are similar but nothing okay many many tries and didn't fix anything so then I went to github found Helios went to ED forum so Helios I reported this Helios says it's beyond their control how viewports you know uh, are done um, it's controlled by by uh, DCS not them which makes sense I was just trying and then ED um, under the cockpit building forum I reported that nobody replied after six months nobody re you know commented at all I went to the bug section reported it again nobody acknowledged me um, basically nobody knew or care for a solution maybe they just give in give up so um, Helios and ED didn't, didn't do anything then I saw somebody on YouTube saying that how reshade made the the MFDs pop the color okay so I knew reshade will not remove the transparency in the background but I was hoping that if it can make the fonts and everything very bright very readable it might just 
help. Um, I tried it. It didn't help. Okay, it, it just looks brighter and the background is still transparent. Obviously, this guy, he, his example doesn't have the transparency because the DDI is not transparent. Okay, so fourth try, still fail. Next, um, it was recently suggested to me that one can add like a wallpaper kind of thing um, to the monitor, not the viewport. The monitor itself, you can upload image to Helios slash images and then click fill and it will fill it up. Um, if you put black, it will, as a mask, it will mask all the the transparency how the problem is it also mask the the viewport so it doesn't it doesn't stay in the background and let the viewport you know appear in front of a black background which is the ideal solution uh it, it co basically covered the viewport so everything became black so again um it didn't work. All right. Then this is the solution I recently discovered. Browsing the Open Hornet Discord under the VR and displays category. Uh, this kudos to this guy. He said use uh, VR underscore mirror. Okay. Add it to your monitor setup. Lua. So. I don't understand this part about the width and the height. I tried the height divide by two. Um, it didn't work. When I removed it, that helped. And then the width, we have two width and two height. Okay. So basically here, I have, um, I have two, two monitors, right? The, this one is my main monitor, 1920 by 1040. The big, the super wide uh, monitor for all the instruments <coughs> and viewport is this one. So when, when this guy says the width, I first tried this one, okay? So it didn't work. It didn't um, much of the VR, a bunch of the displays in VR and very little um, in black. So it partially covered, um, partially soft the viewports if your viewports are like everywhere. Okay, the A10 has many viewports. So I noticed that part of it was covered so I was on the right path. So I, I changed it to 1920, the the width, this width here, the width of my main monitor, not my second monitor, not the viewport monitor. Also the width, the height, I also use this one without slash two, without 1440 slash two or 1040 slash two, just this, okay? So um, basically it's like this, okay? I have this, um, text file which I used to copy um, because I have two different monitors uh, two different cockpit right the F15 uses a second monitor that's also 1920 so the Lua it will always propose 1920 when I am doing uh, monitor setup for the big monitor it's still proposing when I click save it will propose this 1920 I always have to copy this okay basically I will do this I will copy this part here um, and overwrite okay and then normally I had to do this too normally I had to um, copy this and then paste it below but now um, in in Helios that in my previous video I showed 
that special control, you add that icon, it will always spit out this for you. Okay. So the other thing that then the solution is this. So we need to copy this. This usually you want to leave it to the end, right? So what you do is you do this, give it some space. Okay. Add this part here. So my solution is this. I'm not sure about your monitor setup, but um, it works. You just play with the width, whether the width of your first or second monitor, the height of your first or second monitor, and then try divide by two, try without it. You know, I don't divide by two. Basically, this is what works. Okay. And then save. Okay. Your lower file. I have, I've, um, because of my complicated different monitor setup, I choose not to have a common combined uh, Helios. I basically click separate and it create one for each aircraft, right? One for A10, one for F15, one for F18, etc. So, so save this first, then run your um, DCS, okay? So what you want is to um when you're running dcs you alt tap okay when you alt tap when you see dcs you should have one part here that is um black okay so this is the shorter one the your main monitor and um the black part so all the viewports that used to be transparent are now in front of a black mirror so called okay and you see the um, I think this is a map. So a lot of viewports here and everything now becomes readable. So that, this is the solution, okay? This will make all this transparent stuff now appear in front of a black mask and we are good to go, okay? So we see that the Hornet is fixed, A10 is fixed. Basically, VR transparency for viewport seems to be probably for all aircrafts um so i only tried this for okay i don't have a viper or the tomcat or the phantom all these popular uh, planes but um this this solution here should fix any viewport transparency problem for all this and all other aircrafts basically I think it should solve the problem for all aircrafts in DCS. Okay, if it doesn't, um, let me know. Comment in the um, description below and um, we can discuss uh, and explore, right? So I'm here to share whatever I've learned um, and more and more people are exploring VR, getting Pico and Quest and you know, it's very cool to fly in MR and um, but you need, you need the um, viewports um, to, to be not transparent. Only then you can, you can enjoy the VR environment, okay, outside the cockpit and look at your instruments, your MFDs, you know, everything, uh, they have to be readable. So um, with this solution, now it's perfect. Um, like my, like the last video I just um, uploaded, I just showed the uh, F-15E, it's now 100% um, usable, all the all the switches are usable, the MPDs are not transparent. Um, so, and then you see the, the, the world, the Caucasus, you know, terrain outside. It's um, very cool. All right. So um, anyway, please um, support my channel, um, subscribe and like the video. Um, so that I can um, continue trying to churn out um, 
and share more videos about how to how to build panels, how to fix problems, um, how, even how to operate the Strike Eagle or the A10. Thank you guys for watching.